on the ground, the smoke's done. Woo! My new shirt is now wet. Hmm. You don't That's weird, why did it build so much pressure? I won't say we need to put some water in it. And also the temperature gauge broke, it just reads 300 degrees, so it might be broken. Oof. Get your new shirt dirty. I know. This happens because we were professionals, we know what we're doing. We definitely did not break the smoke stuff. We might have broke it though. Hopefully the head gasket's still good. We was pushing it pretty hard last time I was running it. And also, I actually let a kid drive this car to prom. So, do you think you can handle it? Do you think you can? I, I think you can too. Let's get it off the trailer so you can go to prom. What do you think? Yeah. Don't crash it, don't wreck it, keep it minimal burnouts, all right? Okay guys, today we're doing something very ordinary that most people normally do with their come and swap Mustangs. We're gonna take and put twin turbos on it. I feel that that's a very common mod that most people have done. It's kind of like washing your car. So many people have done it. Oh. <laughs> Welcome you to my little friend. No, 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 that's a lie. Welcome you to my big massive boost making friend. <laughs> With the twins and the compound setup, we got it all set right. We could probably make about 1300 horsepower before we blow up the engine, which the engine will probably blow up around a thousand, but we're not scared. We'll just do it. It'll live a little bit of a thousand. What are you talking about? Dude, don't even give me that. A Cummins will live at a thousand for at least like 35 seconds. seconds. If you're doing really fast passes. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. It'll be blown up at the end of the track, not the beginning. It's got massive amounts of room to put turbos. As you can tell, there's literally no place underneath the hood that I can fit this turbo. So uh, this turbo, I have a feeling, is gonna sit right there. Oh, that's freaking heavy. It's gonna levitate. It's gonna levitate. It's gonna be magic. Okay guys, the main reason we're actually installing this turbo is because I just wanna go fast. And I believe that this thing right here will make us fast. We do stuff that's never seen before. I bet you, you've never seen anyone else put a twin turbo on their 2017 Ford Mustang with 12 valve Cummins in it. Try it. Professional. <laughs> right there is the oil drain. Hell yeah, we got oil feed lines so we can make all that work. Not exactly sure what this does yet, but I'm bringing it. Ooh, look at them welds, dude. Look at that. God dang. Ooh, Evil Fab LLC. Look at the TIG welds on their name, though. That thing is cool. Look, they got a little turbo in their name. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be awesome. All right, so we pull that off, put this on, put the bracket on. Yeah, how hard could it be? Guys, this is a good time to mention only 40% of you guys that watch the videos are subscribed to the channel. So if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, we're going to put this twin turbo kit on here. Look at this. Boom. Half of it's already removed. Expert oil catalog. Old stack, now removed. Replace the... The piece of pipe that fell off every time we tried to launch with a nice curvy bend of piece of pipe that goes into the big turbo. No twin turbos today. I'm Is, that sad. What that? Is that what that means? I don't know. I gotta figure out, I might be able to make it work, but for right now, the twin turbo kit's not the right size to fit on a turbo. Every different person uses a different kind of V-band, a different style of V-band, and every V-band don't fit the other V-band. And this one right here is just one nipple hair too big for the clamp to close around it and lock down on the turbo tight and lock down on this clamp tight. Okay, we went ahead and pulled the small turbo off the smoke stand, and this here is the V-band clamp that actually fits our, and we're just gonna weld it around there. It's not going to be the most professional thing. No, excuse me, excuse me. It's going to be the most professional thing that we can pull off, and it's going to work perfectly. It's all, besides for being held together with a um, 
pair of ice grips, it's in a really, really good shape. It's so hot out here. Satan himself came to visit and said, damn, why don't you turn on the freaking air conditioner? We put these in our pocket, that way we don't lose them. Now guys, this right here is 62 pounds of more power. Oh, son of a biscuit. Take them bolts and put it in the hole. Put it in the hole. Put it in the hole. Bring it back. Grab the nuts out of my pocket and put it on there. I don't grab the nuts out of your- Just grab them! I'm grabbing Weston's nuts. Oh, God, I'm sitting here holding this damn thing. Oh, calm down. You're Screw calm. one <laughs> How much room do we have for the turbos? Not enough. Are we worried about it? Of course not! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my god. Dude, that is insane. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? The stack, this stack here, is fully welded so we don't blow it off on the drag strip this time. So, it should. <laughs> Oh my god! Dude! That's gonna be so freaking awesome. You have pissed me off for the final time, Hood. You're going bye-bye. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? Is that not the coolest thing you've ever freaking seen? We got twin turbos! Dude, not only did we put a Cummins engine into a Mustang, we put a freaking turbo the size of the Space Shuttle's engine on it. We're going to the moon with this thing. Let's just uh, go ahead and see how well the hood fits now. Go ahead and shut this. I mean, I don't even think we really even need to move that, but... Oh yeah, practically shuts perfectly. I'll bungee strap it down. How big a hole would I have to cut? You know, I could cut a hole out to make it fit. That's gonna be really easy. Not the the thing about it is the smoke's gonna be blowing up so good it's not even gonna touch the top of the car now. This is really just to keep the car clean. That's why we did this, how we don't have to wash it as often. She's fast, she's gonna be super fast. She's gonna be so fast that even speed of light itself will be jealous. Are you ready? I think it's about time we fire it up and see what happens. Just in case my battery goes dead, I want to make sure I keep it with me. I forgot about that. <laughs> we'll go ahead and uh, put this back inside. Since we went in and unhooked this, I better turn the alternator on. <laughs> I'm just looking to make sure we don't have no oil leak. Listen to the sound of my very happy people. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Dude, this is so freaking cool. Oh my god. Oh, oh, it's a locomotive! It identifies as a train! <laughs> oh, that thing is so loud. Everybody's recording this now. Haven't they ever seen a come and swap Mustang in the wild with twin turbos before? I have no idea how much boost it's making because it just hops the gauge out. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like all the boost! Uh, you want boost? Yes. Yes. <laughs> how much boost you want? Yes.
least she's a lot faster. But oh! Still, careful, dude. This God is, damn! It's breaking, it's breaking the freaking drag slicks loose at 30 miles an hour! That's not the car twisting, is it? No, that's the drag slicks breaking loose and it's going sideways. Because it's like going like this, I'm like, is the car busting it out? No, no, it's just the drag slicks busting loose and it's going sideways. That's what exactly what it is. So like, it, I, this isn't even launching it, this is just leaning into it at 30 miles an hour and the back drag's like,